Hey, good morning YouTube. Jonathan's back. Another morning drive. So, I <laughs> crypto update. I don't know what the hell happened initially last night, but I was out on the patio uh, having a beer, just enjoying the evening, and then like bam, 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 bam. Within, I think, five minutes, I got five notifications on my phone about price drops. And I've had my Coin Stats app kind of go wonky on me before. Like one morning I woke up and it told me overnight I had made and lost like $12 billion. So I thought maybe it was a glitch. Unfortunately, it wasn't. When I looked, I'd already lost, I think, 5% of my entire portfolio within five minutes, which is kind of rough. <laughs> I, my wife and I are trying to stay off our phones like in the evenings and play with our daughter but when I see the market just plummeting it's really hard to not like get on Twitter, see what's going on track my money see if it like comes back up like do I sell, do I dump some see if it goes lower, buy it back just wait it out Like I chose to just I bought the dip, bought a little bit of XRP um Kind of just cost averaging so i think now i'm my average buy i think is like 38 and a half cents which isn't too bad i mean i've been buying off and on for like the last eight months i guess um so basically i think what happened and it's kind of hard to tell um but it was has to do with bitfinex and tether the initial report that i read said that bitfinex was using cash reserves from Tether to cover losses of some of their crypto clients. But then I read Bitfinex's reply and they said that the New York Attorney General actually like confiscated and is holding their $850 million. So I don't know which is accurate at this point. You're going to kind of have to wait and see what shakes out over the next day or so. But luckily the market recovered a little bit. I mean, I think Bitcoin went down to 5100 like a almost like $400 drop. Right now, market's back up to 170.5 billion. Bitcoin's at 52.86. So, and we made it like halfway back up. XRP is still around 29 and a half cents, so still lower than yesterday. So, if I mean, if you got some money. And you want to get some more XRP, now is a good time to do it. But it brings up a good point is any kind of negative news on crypto has a huge effect on the market. Where in other markets it wouldn't really do that, but like we dropped billions, billions in five minutes over the news that one exchange had maybe committed fraud we don't even have the full story yet like probably they did um but we lost maybe 12 billion at one point the market was down to like 165 billion total market cap over one exchange over 850 million dollars that's mind-blowing that it would have that much of an effect to me but the good news is it kind of shows just how young the market is. Because, I mean, even at what the peak in 2017, we we're like 900 and about $900 billion, I think, which is still a drop in the bucket when you're looking at other asset classes. It's nothing. Um, but we're so early in this market, and no one, there's still like the lack of regulation and everything else going on you're gonna have to deal with the volatility of like this so you kind of got to decide how you want to handle it are you gonna buy the dips personally i don't really i don't try and like buy sell i just hold um the market is too unpredictable for me to really spend enough time and risk that kind of money i did contemplate selling some bitcoin last night to see if i could get it cheaper if it dropped again um, but then I thought about it, it's really not worth it because it's going to go up at some point. And if I time it all wrong, I might be buying my Bitcoin back 
like twice the price that I bought it for initially. So not really worth the risk for me. I just bought some XRP and called it a night. Probably avoid my coin stats for the rest of the day. Don't really worry about price, you guys. This is a long-term thing. Um, these daily things, or there's so many whales out there manipulating the market. I wouldn't even sweat these small little, these like these days like uh, yesterday. Just hold your bags, keep buying the dips, and eventually this thing is all going to shake out. We're going to moon, and everyone that kind of doubted crypto markets and Bitcoin and XRP, they're all going to be sit left holding their empty bags and we're going to be sitting there driving lambos buying beach houses whatever it is that you're into um personally i'm probably going to buy my r8 sooner than that i hope um but you know maybe a lamborghini urus for the wife who knows she probably doesn't care but i would like one <laughs> but anyway uh that's it for today guys i'll uh i'll catch you guys monday uh, but hit that subscribe button and uh, over the weekend, I might do a little car review too. So I'll let you guys know. See ya.